Chapter 6, Complementary and Alternative Therapies. These are your learning objectives. The mainstream of healthcare in our society is based on allopathic methods of treatment. Allopathic practitioners, these individuals use medical and surgical methods to treat disease and injury by finding what is wrong and fixing it. Allopathic medicine is based on observation, scientific research, and objective explanations. Complementary medicine, this includes practices and treatments that agree or will work with the allopathic therapies and they are used in combination with medical treatments. Alternative medicine is the practice and treatments that are used in place of allopathic or conventional medicine. Integrative medicine attempts to blend the most effective practices and treatments from both the conventional and alternative treatment systems. The emphasis is always on interrelationships among the body, mind, and spirit. The word holism is derived from the Greek word holos, meaning whole. Holism today views a person as more than just the sum of their parts. The concept of holism helps to blend many aspects of mental health care. The primary goal of holistic mental care is to help clients develop strategies to achieve harmony within themselves and with others and their world. The mission for the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health is to divine through rigorous scientific investigation the usefulness and the safety of complementary and integrative healing practices. This agency seeks scientific validation for the complementary and alternative medication therapies. It also acts as an information resource for the public. These therapies focus on working within the body's natural abilities to assist the body to heal itself. Ayurveda is a healing system that was developed in India and it means the science of life. This type of medicine is described as knowledge of how to live. The focus is on innate harmony of the mind, body, and spirit. Therapies like diet, meditation, herbs, yoga, exposure to sunlight, and controlled breathing are designed to help restore balance, and this is believed to heal the individual. Homeopathy is a therapeutic method that uses natural substances in small doses to relieve symptoms. This is based on the principle of similars. Only one substance at a time will be used and the effects are closely monitored. Neuropathy or naturopathy, this views disease as an alteration in the process in which the body heals itself, and it originated in Europe. The term naturopathy means nature disease, and the focus is on six principles. The healing power of nature, identification and treatment of the cause of the disease, concept of do no harm, physician care provider as a teacher, and treatment of the whole person, as well as prevention. Traditional Chinese medicine can trace its beginnings back to 200 BC. It is based on the view that the body is a delicate balance of opposing forces, the yin and the yang. Yin is cold, slow, and passive, whereas yang is hot, fat, fast, and active. The health is a balance between these two energies. 
mental or physical problems may arise when there is an imbalance of these vital energies and it is known as key. This leads to a blockage of energy and blood along the energy pathways or meridians. Biologically based practices, these attempt to improve the human condition through the use of substances extracted from nature. Treatments with these substances may include aromatherapy, dietary supplements, as well as herbal therapy. Complementary and alternative medication practices that involve moving some part of the body are termed body-based. These practices focus on moving the body into an improved state of function through treatment. Eye movement desensitization and reprocessing uses controlled eye movements to help reprocess traumatic memories. Massage is the manipulation of muscles and connective tissue to assist the body and enhance well-being. It is one of the oldest healing arts. Somatic therapy is the use of bright lights for the treatment of depression. Phototherapy is also known as light therapy and it has been used with success in treatment of seasonal affective disorder. During winter months when the available daylight hours are decreased, many people may become irritable, unable to concentrate, and even depressed. Science has shown that exposure to full spectrum light for at least 20 minutes a day has resulted in an improvement of the depressive type syndrome symptoms. Veritable energy, this is a use of mechanical vibration or sound such as electronic magnetic forces. It can be measured. It uses wavelengths and frequencies to treat the patients. Putative or biofield energy, this is based on the concept that humans are infused with a form of energy. This cannot be measured and this readjusts the energy flow to treat the patient. The concept of the mind influencing illness and bodily function is old. Much of the evidence demonstrates positive effects related to psycho psychological functioning and improved quality of life. In addition, the risks of mind body therapies are very minimal. Expressive therapies like music or dance, these are thought to help individuals express thoughts and emotions that they are unable to verbally state. Hypnotherapy, meditation, prayer, and spiritual healing are believed to help promote relaxation, decrease stress, as well as relieve emotional or physical pain. Practitioners of energy medicine believe in a vital life force energy that flows through the human body. The life form can be known by many names. And although these energies have not been proven scientifically, many therapists claim they can work with this subtle energy, see it with their own eyes and use it to affect changes in the physical body and influence health. Biofeedback teaches patients to control their physical responses. This provides visual or auditory information about autonomic body functions. Body functions like respiration, pulse, or skin responses are monitored by machine while a patient practices relaxation techniques and changes the monitored data. Magnetic therapy uses magnets that are placed over, over painful areas to relieve pain. Repetitive transcranial magnetic stimulation has been successfully used to to treat severe depression. Pulsating electromagnetic therapy enhances bone healing and is claimed to be effective with both sleep disorders and headaches. With the increase of electronic devices, mental health is just a click away. Telemedicine will use video and computer technology. This helps deliver care to remote areas and enable 
our clientele to consult with experts. Practitioners can also speak to and observe clients directly with webcams. Telephone counseling uses active listening skills to provide information and referrals. The first step toward mental health is often a telephone counselor. Radio psychiatry provides psychiatrists and psychologists who offer information, discussion, advice, and referrals in response to callers' mental health questions. Electronic communications offer a wide range of information as well as a means of communicating with others that may share the same problems. Treatment today is available online. Animals are consistent and non-judgmental. They are always accepting and help ease loneliness. Assisted dogs have helped people with physical disabilities for years. Acupuncture has successfully treated individuals with stress, anxiety, and depression, and it has been used in children with hyperactivity and attention deficit disorders. Some therapists use it to assist the client with detoxification from drug, drugs or alcohol. Yoga and meditation will relieve stress and anxiety. The nurse must remember that the individual's culture has a very large effect on the outcome of the treatment. Eliminating some foods that have an effect on mental health problems, thinking of wheat milk products may reduce the severity of symptoms for those that have schizophrenia. Certain herbal and vitamin treatments may ease discomforts of depression and hyperactivity and some herbs like St. John's wort are said to assist with depression. Art, music, and dance all help to release emotions and foster self-awareness. Individuals that are recovering from abuse find that movement therapy will help them reconnect to gain a sense of ease and comfort with their own bodies. Music is found to stimulate the body to release neurotransmitters that increase well-being. Ministers, pastors, priests, and rabbis offer prayer and therapeutic listening. Although these individuals are not trained therapists, many of these individuals are wise in offering support and comfort. People with related problems will find great support in understanding with others that have similar experiences. Those who have been there are invaluable resources for empowering others towards recovery. Learning to control the body's fight or flight response or the sympathetic nervous system helps us to avoid the negative effects of stress. Techniques like guided imagery and creative visualization can assist the user to achieve a deep state of relaxation and then create a mental picture of healing and wellness. Before suggesting, suggesting any type of CAM therapy, a nurse should do her due diligence and ensure that she has researched so that she knows the potential effects of the CAM therapy.